Have you ever tried to make a light up card with electrical tape and parts that can't touch and it was so complicated you gave up? That was me until I discovered easy lights that are oh so easy to put a, on a card to make light up cards sure to delight the lucky recipient of that special card. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I do admit I do not understand how to create a circuit for lights on a card even though I have taken two classes from experts. I gave up until I watched some videos that were part of a Karen Berniston and Pear Blossom Press collaboration blog hop and found the Pear Blossom Press Easy Lights. I watched one video on the Pear Blossom Press YouTube channel and could see that even I could make a special lit up card with this unique product. Now I've put a link to that video in my description box. The blog hop was hugely successful, resulting in the Easy Lights being sold out, but Pear Blossom Press thinks they'll be back in stock early December 2019, and that's when I'm posting this video, and at that time they'll have a discount as well. I'll update the description box with that information on the discount and when they're available as soon as I have it. All you need to do to get the lights on this Easy Lights to light up is to push in the battery with the positive side up and the batteries are also included so in this pack that I got there's it was a three pack uh, three batteries and three of these um, light up elements here and this is the battery and all you do is you push it in and then you push this little button and the lights light up that's all there is to it. There's no electrical tape. Um, it's that simple and I'm going to show you how to put this on a card. Um, this is the Pear Blossom Press Easy Lights pack that I got. There's a single pack, three packs, five packs, even more I think. Um, now I think the Easy Lights are reasonably priced, but on my budget I do admit that I'll be making lit up cards for only very special people like my grandsons. Um, the, this three pack that I purchased was about twenty dollars. My um, first example of a card that I made is for my teenage grandson who is into video games and his phone as are most teenagers. So you push here and I'm going to assume you can see those lights on the video game and the phone light up. Um, all the details on this card, the products I used, will be on my blog, and there will be a link to that, of course, in my description box. But, I don't know, I just think that's really, really cool. On the inside, I have you light up my world. Um, and, again, that's from my teenage grandson. Um, this is the special birthday card for my grandson, who will soon be four. He loves trucks, and I think he's going to love pushing this button and seeing all of the trucks on the front of the card light up. Um, I just made a computer generated sentiment that says hope your birthday is loads of fun and put the loads of fun in the um, dump truck and of course he's turning four so um, he'll be able to push and see the lights on all the trucks light up. And then on the inside, I just have a personalized message to him. I'm using Karen Berniston's um, alphabet and numbers dies. Um, here are the products that I used to make this card, and I'm going to make another one with you. Um, the trucks are a Spellbinders um, die set that's called Tractors. The um, push here is a stamp from an interactive set from Lawn Fawn. And again, links to all these products will be in the description box. Um, these are skinny foam trip strips of uh, skinny foam sticky strips from Motion Crafts. And I love those and use them all the time. And I'm going to be using it on the card. And then the paper is um, Happy Birthday for Boys um, from Echo Park. Um, and um, I've chosen um, I, a different one for the card that I'm going to make, um, but um, those fun birthday papers make um, the card very easy to make. Um, 
these are the pieces that we need. I'm going to leave those in the, there for now. Um, I've decided to make a five and a half by eleven square card, and the piece on the front is five and a quarter by uh, five and a quarter, so it's square. And we're going to decide where on the card front um, we want all these pieces to be. So let's move that out of the way. Um, we have to punch a hole or die cut a hole um, where the lights are going to be and I'm just going to put this one in here just to make sure. Um, I'm using a hole punch, just a regular office hole punch to do that um, and this one has somewhat limited re reach so we have to make sure that the truck's windows are um, close enough to um, the sides that I can reach with that punch. So um, I think this will work. Um, I'm going to put a little mark here, here, and here, and punch those holes. And then we're going to lay this on the card front and we're going to mark the center of those holes and that is where the lights are going to be attached. Um, I am going to stamp no, that's right. I need to. Um, I'm going to stamp the push here on there, but first we need to attach this. Okay. So um, this is what the unit looks like, and as I showed you, I just push that battery in, and the three lights are going to light up. And we are going to. We put. I put strong two-sided tape on the back of the battery pack part. And I'm going to attach it down here. And put that piece on there and push, as you can see. And put that card front on. and put, push and mark where I want the stamp to be. Now I have it kind of lined up in my misty, thinking I knew where it was going to be, but um, I'm going to make sure. And then um, we'll also take some tape and tape that down. I'm going to do that stamping. here. Um, I think I want it over just a little bit on this one. So it's centered. I think I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure it's, which is of course so nice that we can do that in Misty's and Stamp platforms. Make sure it's nice and clear.
Um, now I am going to um, take the lights and place them where I have marked um, that the hole is going to be. And basically you just need to tape them in place. That's all you need to do. Um, they do say to gently um, fold um, and twi uh, tape these down um, and just, you know, don't be real uh, rough with them. Um, um, so they're going to kind of be in a circular pattern. And um, I am going to tape the first one down to the first mark. And press. And then, just to be on the safe side, I will put my, yep, and you can see that that's going to be right where it needs to be. And then the second one is going to be over here. tape. And then the third one is going to be right where that mark is. And then if we put our paper over and push you can see that those are going to show. And now we're going to just take some more tape and carefully tape down the excess wire. Now, um, I am going to attach some vellum pieces to the holes. Um, I just cut some small pieces and I used a yellow uh, marker to uh, make them a little brighter. And we're going to tape those down inside here. You don't have to color them. Um, but they do um, seem to be a little bit brighter if you do, and you can color them with different colors, you know. Um, so that's up to you. I got my Easy Lights yesterday, and I made these two cards yesterday, and um, they are so easy to make. I'm making the video today. So that is um, how easy they are to work with. It's amazing to me. I decided I needed one more piece of tape. So if we push, the, put this down um, and then push, you can see the lights through those holes. And now we're going to attach the rest of our um, pieces here. I just thought it was cute to say loads of fun when you're putting a truck trucks on here. So um, I just have some two-sided tape on the back of these and I want the hole to be through the front window. And then loads of fun is going to be in the back of this truck. here.
Yep. This truck is here. Hope your birthday is loads of fun. I used my old deco scissors to cut these out. Um, I've gotten rid of all the rest of my decorative scissors, but I still keep my deco scissors. <clears throat> Adds just a little bit of interest to the words. Hope your birthday is loads of fun. And now it's going to be attached here, but you do have to raise um, that. Um, and some people were doing um, several layers of mounting tape, but my favorite thing to use is my foam strips from Motion Crafts. And I find that it is high enough um, and much easier to work with than doubling up foam tape. Okay, and now uh, <clears throat> we're going to take this, and I want an even border, so I'm going to stand up to do this, around on all four edges. And if we push, we can see the lights, and that sticky foam tape has raised it enough and also will attach it. I just love to do that. Push lights on a cards are so fun. Kids of all ages would love this interactive element, element on their card and would not throw this special card away. Push here and see that light every time. Hope your birthday is loads of fun. And then the inside of this one, um, I use the decorative paper from that um, paper pack that I showed you and I put um, a uh, rectangle that you could sign it and of course this one isn't going to be for my grandson so I didn't personalize it but you can of course add that feature. I hope these cards I have shown you encourage you to give these new and innovative easy lights a try. Thanks for watching, subscribing and commenting and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.